We are set for a terrific double header today on Sunday for match number 14. What a game it's going to be. The Knights versus the Wolves. And they are, these are teams that are at one and two in the table. So this is going to be an absolute beauty. And there's going to be plenty of action. We've got big hitters on both sides. But let's have a look at the standings. As I and let's have a look at the Wolves. There's uh, George Munsey is someone that I'm going to highlight straight away because he's been absolutely outstanding so far. A couple of 60s. Scored 150 runs in the tournament at this stage and a strike rate of 160 with a, uh, a 24 off the one over, which is magnificent. Lendl Simmons, now I reckon he's simmering. Look at his career strike rate there. 115 career strike rate, which has surprised quite a few people. His strike rate in this tournament is going at 180. I reckon he's simmering. He's only got the 150 at this stage. So watch him today. And then also, let's just go down uh, to Baba Hyatt, who's from Hong Kong, and he's someone who's played really superbly so far with a strike rate of 184. And again, he's above his career uh, strike rate. So he's been uh, very impressive, and someone who has finished a game, 48 not out, by the way, in the last game. About the, uh, the Vancouver Knights, shall we? Chris Gale, it's his last game. He's got to go on West Indies duties, and he has been in amazing form. A 12, a 45, 122 not out, and a 94 of 44 balls. And I love his captaincy. He's been outstanding, his captaincy, and he's such a professional. I just loved his attitude right throughout this tournament, and he'd be looking to finish on a big note indeed. Chris Gale in really good form. Another player, Tobias Fischer, I thought, number one, he's kept very, very well, but I loved he's gone away. Look at the strike rate of 171. A lot of scouts will be looking at him, Hazy. He's been really good. He's got a 20, a 45, a 51 off 19. He's got an attitude, and I love it. He goes after the bowling early, and he's a lovely little uh, partner to help Chris Gale get the, get the innings flowing. Right, another play here. I thought Shoah Malik has finally got some uh, form. He's got a lovely 34 not out of the last game of 17. And he bowled beautifully, I thought, Hazy. One for 18 off his, off his three overs. And he's in very, very good form as well. Ali Khan, let's not forget about him, the USA player. He bowls very, very well at the death. But all importantly, this is a very good team. Second on the table, one versus two. Where else would you rather be? I agree. Power hitters in those nights, and Shoab Malik is really enjoying his cricket, which is uh, terrific to see as well. That's to end as well, but that's gone for four. One bounce and four. Australia. That did move a little bit. Cries of catch it. Should be taken, this. It is taken. That is a big wicket first up. What a catch. Try to get it to swing. He was trying to get it to swing. No feet by Muncy, he's in good form, back to his eye, but this is a good catch, the ball is starting to tail away from him, well done. So they, they've they been very good in the partnerships, opening partnerships and throughout this tournament, and they've broken it, it's their worst opening partnership for the tournament. So Muncy goes for a duck. And the... catch. Cries of catch it, oh it's through the hands. Is it going to go for four? Not quite. Oh, that's aggressive. He's moosed that one for six. Cries of catch, but he's found the gap, and that's uh, right along the carpet in the end for four. That's pretty well hit, but not well enough. That's another one. It's a low full toss. And you know what? I thought Sam's missed his run up, and he started to run in. And it's at a change up delivery. Looked like it was. He didn't quite get enough of it, obviously. Bit of top spin it. And when top spin comes in, the fieldsman comes into play. Yes, indeed. So he's picked up two. He's looking at Chris Gale, said, come on, boss, we'll win it for you in your last game. Big start here for Vancouver. Knocking over the skipper, Munro, for 12. And the Wolves. Ah! Yeah, just the last one on. Through oh! the gap. Yes, it is through the gap. A little bit agricultural from Lendl Simmons. Straight up. Is it straight up? No, he's got enough of it, hasn't he? He's got enough of it. Oh, goodness me. Andre Russell. Sub bins fire with his left arm oh, spin. Oh. That's just off the pad. Could be four leg buys, I think. It'll go all the way. Yes, it is. Oh, he gets away with that as well. That might be four off the bat this time, is it? Yes, it is. Swings hard. 
High, handsome, six. 15 off at 45 for two. All right. That's enough. I've had my say. Should be out. Should be out. And it is out. It is out. So he's uh, come down. Catch has been taken by Michael Ripon. He's picked up another one. That's four. Lendl Simmons has been uh, the lone spark for the Brampton Wolves on the Sunday afternoon. Very proud cricketer, Michael Ripon. He's been around the traps a bit. Hey, it's a beauty. That was a wrong one. That is one of the finest deliveries you will ever see from a spinner. Michael Rippon. Hey. Oh, he's got him. Just pushed it through a little quicker. 97 kilometers an hour. And Nitish Kumar is cleaned up. Through the air, skidding on and hammering that off stump quite hard. Just terrific to see the way that these two spinners have gone about it now, end to end, a wicket each, and it's been clever planning, really good work. Kumar now goes for five, the Wolves 60 for five. Hayden Walsh Jr. continues. That's not the best delivery, he'll bowl. Baba Hyatt punishes it. Baba Hyatt has been in really good boundary hitting form. Vahabrias welcomes Hayden Walsh Jr. with a massive six just before we could build up saying that he's the kind of player who can... Wahab goes again, he goes big. Got proper power. And he finds another boundary. No, it's too easy. Too easy. Halfway down to... Uh, Finish, and that's a chance. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, what a catch. You talked about him earlier, Dean Jones. Chadwick Walton, outstanding Daffabet catch of the match. No one else can take one better today. One of Lots of top spin on it. And the ball was dipping. He knew that from the sound, the trajectory. He moved so quickly in. Look at that oh. for fielding. That's brilliant. Oh, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Oh, another one. No, that is over the top. Roof of the tent, six for Baba Hyatt. And Baba Hyatt enjoys a little extra pace on the ball, and he has muscled that out of the park. Oh, Lance Klusner would like that. Shouts of catch it. Nearly cleaned up somebody under that giant scoreboard. Oh, he's cleaned him up. Ali Khan, this is what he can do. Quick, straight, and bang! Middle stump out of the ground. Ishori has to walk back. Boundaries. I believe this is in the slot. He's just gone right around it. As Ishori rather go down the ground, but uh, he picks up his first wicket, does Ali Khan. For 19, it's 129 for eight. Yes! Shouts of catch it. Shohad Malik waits, 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 and takes it. Oh, that's a little disappointing. No selfie on that occasion. Just takes the catch and tosses the ball back. That Into bent. the surface. A little bit of a cutter. Commits to the shot, does uh, Baba Hyatt, but oh, easy as you like. Swallowed. And there's the confirmation. Gone. He's having a good day with the ball. Hyatt gone for 34. 134 for nine. Makes room, does Junaid Siddiqui and picks up a boundary. These are good runs at the end of the innings for the Wolves to try and get past 140, even though they've lost Baba Hyatt. With on offer, he's gone with the wide, slower ball. Yes! Shoaib Malik again, and Shoaib Malik swallows it again. Oh, he's taking them easily. That's two catches in the over for Shoaib Malik and a great finish for Daniel Sam. So they almost bat out the 20 overs, but not quite. The Brampton Wolves. And this is exactly what we've seen from the Brampton Wolves thus far. Looked unbeatable. Only 138 and 19.5 overs. A top score of 34 down the order from Baba Hyatt. Simmons was good till he was done in by Hayden Walsh Jr. And after those early wickets, it was the Spin Twins, Hayden Walsh Jr. and Michael Rippon who took over, picking up 5 for 52 in their eight overs. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. <laughs> oh, dear. The fielding side, you don't want to see that. But that's another from the VJ box of chocolates.
हाँ देख रहे कि वहाब रियाज एज दैट स्पिन हिट अवे बाय विजय नॉट अ बिग शॉट फ्रॉम हिम दैट्स गोइंग टू बी मैक्सिमम एज विजय चार्जिंग हिम एंड ही इज गोइंग टू बी सक्सेसफुल पिक्स अप अ बाउंड्री another bouncer top edge and it goes for six extra pace commits to the shot the bowler is not happy for oh salt in the wounds no oh, he's put him down more salt throw a bucket into the wound how has he dropped that out at fine leg a brush charging six starts the over in a big way that can be really targeted bowled him can't target it but the bowler can off stump and rooted the first break through for the wolves finally luck going the brampton wolves way i love that if you miss you hit his stump so that was an entertaining big shay for 27 off 12 the knights 33 for 1 no 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 single hand I think he's gone. Direct hit. First inclinations. Slid the bat light. It's a good call from Chadwick Walton. There was no one there. I mean if he'd gone through Chadwick Walton wouldn't have got 3 quarters of the way down the pitch and he would have been gone. So it's out and go. I think he knows it as well yes! does uh, Chris Gale this confirmation. Maybe we'll have another listen as that's been punched by Shoaib Malik. Just caressed through the outfield for four. Wonderful cricket shot, Shoaib Malik. Ish sorry. And he can go aerial as well. That's what he does so well. Just shimmies down and just quietly hits them for four and six. The end of the power play. 52 for two. And that's got maximum from Chadwick Walton. Hadn't yet come to the party. but realizing slightly short picked up the leg and just slapped it away shouts to catch it that's only going into the boundary one bounce chadwick walton is now starting to find the middle of that bat brilliant run out nicely played couple of bounces and four good control got on the fat hit that for four one bounce that's a very well controlled shot from Malik the ice cream van hammered away could go for four does go for four that's a good shot from Chadwick Walton go oh. upsy good luck <laughs> good luck to the team folks down the other end they did not know where that had gone short six only one place i was going colin munro just pitching it a little too short and realizes that he gave walton an open invitation the knights are doing today down the track end of the sight screen for six runs making short work of this now six and there it is also brings up the 100 stand so really good work from these two guys malik and walton The Knights get up. Nice play. Yeah, terrific performance, wasn't it? Dominant today, they were brilliant with the ball. Used this spin well. Daniel Sams bowled a terrific spell with uh, four wickets for him, and then finished off nicely. They lost two wickets early on, 33 and 39 on the board, and vast experience of oh, Shoaib Malik. to uh, they were doing it's not very often you see uh, spinners in tandem so that was pretty impressive russell not getting a knock and the rest of the guys here the go and missing out today so uh, that's a bit unusual and uh, fishay getting 27 at a bit of a tight time actually with uh, wahab rias running in and bowling very briskly at one stage nodging or notching very close to 150 k's per hour Yeah, very comfortable isn't it bowlers tried hard but then when there's not enough runs on the board it becomes a very difficult task wahab 28 of his 3 so a little expensive to david he can be forgiven it's uh, not an easy day for him and he has been brilliant in the early parts of this tournament junaid sadiki with none for 24 so four very tight overs for him pervez with a wicket 
off his two overs. So there's a look at the match summary. With the Wolves only posting 138. They were in a lot of trouble right at the uh, the start. The spin twins of Hayden Walsh Jr. And did a very good job with Michael Rippon right in the middle after uh, Sam's picked up a couple of wickets as well. So no one got going. And Sam's ended up with four for 25. Walsh Jr. three for 29. Rippon two for 23. So good work from them. And the Knights, 139 for two. They get up by uh, eight wickets. That's a big win. Unfinished knocks from Walton and also Malik, 53 and 41 respectively, and uh, no one in the wickets column, so that was uh, disappointing. For the bowlers, for the Wolves, who will retreat to their den, I think, and have a bit of a chat about things.